सो एरो इज थर्टीन पॉइंट वन विच इज ऑफकोर्स नॉट बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉइड थर्टीन पॉइंट वन इट्स एंड्रॉइड थर्टीन एंड इट्स ऑल्सो हैव द क्यू पी आर टू अपडेट विच मीन्स मार्च सिक्योरिटी पैच इज हेयर अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर इंक्लूड इन दिस कस्टमर एंड वाई आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस कस्टमर होम आई विल टॉक अबाउट लेटर ऑन इन दिस वीडियो सो स्टेट यू एंड मेक श्योर टू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड बिकॉज दिस इज अ कस्टमर होम विच इज अपडेटेड वीकली एस दिस इज वन ऑफ द रीजन वाई यू शुड यूज दिस कस्टमर होम द फर्स्ट थिंग विच वी हैव इन दिस कस्टमर होम is a launcher how is the default launcher what we have the default launcher is actually something kind of different it's not the same like other custom homes which are having almost same features but this custom launcher brings same features although the name is not same it is still giving you almost same features everywhere this custom home also brings you the feature of parallel space Some custom rooms are removing this feature from their custom rooms, but Arrow OS is still bringing you parallel space. Is one of the most have things actually in a custom room because at least for me, I definitely want to use this thing because I'm using a custom room. I want to use more than one, uh, more than one account of that particular app. If I move on to the quick settings panel here. One thing if you are able to notice here the the quick settings panel is actually in a dark mode even though i have applied the light mode but it is in dark mode so this is one of the advantages for some of the users in this custom home also brings vanilla builds which means without google apps a custom home without google apps mostly gives you better performance compared to a custom home which is having google apps pre installed i am not sure but maybe if you are using a low end device this might affect you so yes this might be a good choice for you In the terms of camera section I don't think so I need to talk about much about this camera because it's same in other custom homes too which is a perch camera and yes camera is actually very good of course you have the option to choose G cam or maybe MIUI camera if it is available for your device but a perch camera is a must have camera app even though you can install this camera as a portable camera in other custom homes too so yes you must try it out This custom home doesn't brings you major customizations although settings wise it's just basically same but it still have some useful features for you if you want to use it as your daily driver for example the features include the network speed indicator let me show you if you move on to the network and internet options you will see we have the network traffic indicator option available which is very useful Most of the users look after to this feature if it is available if it is present in their custom homes of course you can use third party apps for that but if the feature is pre pre installed or pre built then it's very good if i move on to the battery section here unlike google's battery section where you have the option to see the last use battery battery usage from the last 24 hours but in in aero os we have the option to see the battery usage from the last full charge so this is very good at the aosp kind of graph and you can even reset the battery stats if you want to by the way this custom home is quite popular like pixel experience evolution x os so maybe if you are using custom home from a long time you already know this custom home if we move on to the display settings you will see some customization options like some icons from status bar which you can hide or unhide it's totally up to you but we don't have the volti or wo wifi icon support and you also have the option to see the data usage daily data usage that's very good and same we have some previously related option called ignore windows secure flags which means you will be able to remove the screenshot and screen record restrictions from certain apps so that's good Here are some daily use customizations for you in the wallpapers and style section where you have the option to customize the icon pack from here you have the option to customize the fonts you have the option to customize the shapes and a lot more things and these customizations are good these are not like the major customization things by the way but that is still good enough to use in your device as a daily driver you can see some icon shape options are here teardrop is one of my favorite ones So this is what we all have in the terms of customizations which you can go and try and explore and if we move on to the security options we have the app lock support which is a must have thing in a custom home right now because if you want to try out some app loggers from the Google Play Store those doesn't work actually so you definitely need this thing although it has some of kind of limitations but it's good enough including all these things this custom home is also giving you the facility to use OTA updates and this is one of the main thing about using this custom home this custom home gives you OTA updates almost weekly so yes if you want to update your device weekly go and try it out this is ROS 13.1 link is available in the description make sure to check out that thanks for watching and goodbye